Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over uh, my new render rig that I built and um, that we built. And uh, this is a basically a dedicated GPU renderer uh, for size comparisons. Those are 24 inch monitors. Uh, and so you can see just how massive uh, that's a 21 inch Cintiq right there. And uh, that is a Corsair 900D case uh, filled with uh, three GTX 780 Ti's uh, Asus Maximus Extreme motherboard uh, Maximus 6 Extreme motherboard uh, 4770K um, processor H100i liquid cooler uh, I'll take the case off here and this is sick okay so inside we have uh, like I said, it's 4770K, it's H100i, I've got a ton of SP, I've got four uh, SP120 fans on the H100i radiator. Those is, uh, it's uh, Trident, uh, G-Skill Trident X, uh, 32 gigabyte memory. And here are the three, uh, let's see if it zoom in. I don't know why it's not going to zoom in. You can see 780Ti, three uh, 780Ti's, they are the ACX super clock. Uh, the only thing I don't like about the ACX is that it vents to the side over here, so uh, all your heat basically ends up recirculating around that area, and these are really tied in there, so have to have a lot of coolant, um, cooling going on for them. I may eventually end up water cooling this setup, but Lord knows it's got plenty of room for it, and it's kind of the reason why I went with the case. Um, down here in the basement, I've got four, uh, come on, focus, four SP120s, uh, with the red rings to match the ASUS, uh, motherboard. Uh, I've got one SP120 right there to, just to try to help get some more air here whenever I I run those at max. Um, for my drive bays, I'm only using three. I've got a uh, 840 Pro SSD, a Samsung 840 Pro SSD. I've got a Western Digital one terabyte for my data, and I've got a one terabyte Seagate for my backup. And let's go around to the uh, front of the case. And you can see there's the uh, over clock tuner basically if you're uh, want to be doing your overclock on your bench um, it's a nice brushed uh, look on there Get my focus going on again I'll pop this off basically so this guy here push those in and I've got three SP120s here. And um, let's see, here's a Corsair AX uh, 1200i. And I think that's pretty much about it. And uh, as far as, you know, monitors, this is uh, these are two Samsung. I've got two Samsung 24 inches and then a planner uh, 24 inch and then the uh, the uh, Cintiq here which obviously you know you can rotate and, and lay it down and all that good stuff and draw on it um, for peripherals so I'm using a Navis Space Navigator here keyboard mouse setup for that com for the render computer and a Space Pilot Pro and a Logitech Wave and mouse for the uh, what's it the MK uh, 510 M510 uh, for doing my uh, my other machine, which is basically the uh, Box 4920 Extreme down here with the six core processor, and uh, I think I've got a Quadro 4000 and a uh, uh, Tesla uh, C2075, and then. Um, I've got another Quadro 600 there that used to run just this antique monitor, but uh, I don't know what I'll end up doing with that card. 
Uh, that's the the to the left there is the APC. Uh, I think it's a 2400 uh, or 2700, whatever it is. Back uh, battery backup power uh, for the power supplies. And uh, so yeah, you can see the difference in the size between that um, box machine versus the Mammoth. Uh, what I call the the monolith. Um, of course, they're 900D. One thing I do like about these is for the dust filters. It's just uh, it's just a little magnetic guy, and so it just slaps right on there and you just rub it in, and there you go. Um, build quality for the 900D. It's it's okay. Um, I do have some issues with my latch here sticking and locking up on the door, so it can be kind of hard to get the side uh, door off. But uh, you know, other than that, it's a it's a massive case, um, and you kind of need it when you're going to be running three cars and probably end up wanting to have some um, uh, liquid cooling options. So I think that's what I'll probably end up doing is water cooling all of these cards and maybe even dishing the H100i and just having one complete uh, closed loop system for the processor and for the GPUs. So, but yeah, that's the new build.